very first thing you need to do is turn on waveform. I normally use an external monitor with an IRE display waveform. Your Nikon Z8 and Z9 has waveform, but it's hidden. So you have to go into the menu and turn that on. All right, so to turn on the waveform, you go to your menu, you go to your pencil icon, you go all the way down to G where the video is, go in there, and then you go to G16, brightness information display. You go in there and you can select whether it's gonna be histogram or waveform or a large waveform. So you get to pick if you want big or small. So there it is. One more step to even activate it. And then you have to go to shooting display G19, custom view finder shooting display. And then display one, and then you're gonna see that it's right there in the viewfinder. Now, just to show you guys the uh, waveform and to show how to actually show it onto the big screen, you go to pencil icon, G18, custom monitor shooting display after you turn on the waveform large. You go in there, display one, go into it, and then now you could turn on the waveform, okay? So that's just, just for me to show you how it's gonna look. So that means that when I'm filming, I could quickly look inside, make sure that I'm at a proper setting and I'm good to go. So with the waveform or the IRE, it's the most standard way of filming is to be, let's say it's a zero to a hundred. The very bottom is full black, the very top is full white, and now you can tell that everything is a little bit darker. It makes sense that everything should be right in the middle. And normally it should be, but when you're filming in log, you want it to be one to two stop brighter. Log, whether it's V-log or C-log or any kind of log from any of the cameras, Log doesn't like shadows. Log does give you the most dynamic range, but when it comes to shadows, it doesn't like to be increased because you, you will see it. You're gonna see weird color, abrochrome cremation. It's a fancy word that I can never remember, I swear. Um, but it creates these weird colors when you increase the shadow from the real dark to light. But what Log does love is it likes to be darkened. I'm not saying that it's impossible to lighten it, but typically, technically, it likes to be darkened more. So you're safer to be brighter than darker. Now, the problem with shooting brighter is that Log is so flat you can't even tell if it's really overexposed or if it's just bright or if it's just perfect. It's kind of hard to tell. It causes an issue when you're filming. You wanna see what you're filming. So you need to turn on view assist and here's how to turn on view assist. There's no way you could feel comfortable filming in this flat color. So you go into the menu, go into the pencil icon, go to video, all the way down to G12 and you turn that on and now everything is in color. It gives it a fake LUT so that everything looks like it's filmed normally so you could film easily, but it does not burn into your video. Your video file is still very flat, but how awesome is that? Definitely leave that on. Uh, just a quick mention, I do sell photography, videography t-shirt in my link. If you do support me in any way by buying any of the t-shirts, I appreciate you so much for that. It fits nicely. So thank you for your support. And also go to cameratofreedom.com. Hook me up with your email address. I'm trying my best to create tutorials. I've been shooting for like 25 years plus. God, I'm getting old. But now it's time for me to just share everything I know and just kind of help whoever I can. All right, guys, leave a comment. Hook me up with a comment. And uh, I will see you next time.